everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a very unique Class C motorhome that gives you a sofa and dinette with no slide out. There's only one slide out and it's just in the bedroom. This is a 2022 Thor Chateau model 26B. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Chateau and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at this very cool Thor Chateau. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, hey you're guys. not Andrea. That's right. You're Will from Matt's RV Reviews Towables. That's Bing. right. What's going on? So we're up here in Virginia um, and you know, you just needed a video to make sure to get it in for tonight. And I wanted to give Andre a little bit of a break. Yes, yeah, so Will, what's new with you? So um, Jen and I have started our own channel. For Who's Jen? You, Jen, my wife. Okay. Um, has started our own YouTube channel for those of you who don't know, it's just Will and Jen. It's just a vlog, um, Matt's in it a lot and just about our journey, you know, helping in with RVs um you know our personal travels everything in between just having a great time living life That's to right. the fullest so make sure thank you so much will for filling in for andrea because we of did course. need a video for tonight and um also just so everybody knows we're up here in virginia and will look at all these chateaux right ready you know to go we have some of these in stock this one is sold but there's another 26b right here uh -huh. it's all uh, what's called the floor model now so oh, we're actually okay. able to see it and it's gonna be here at the uh, Richmond, Virginia location for everybody to actually see an RV and then order off of it. Very nice. Model is Thor Chateau 26B. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 27 feet, seven inches. This is the Thor Chateau. This is the same thing as the Thor Four Winds. They're called sister products. It's so one dealership can sell one and then a dealership across the street from this dealership can sell the other one. Same exact thing. Right up front here, we have a nice fiberglass front cap. All white design, white motorhome on white chassis. Very nice that they're doing that. Uh, like a year or two back, they were doing the tan motorhome right. with the white. Didn't look good. I like the white on white. For sure. And then right here, Will, it is powered on the E350 chassis. Now this, normally I get a little upset about because they cheapen out. But look, look right there. With it only having the one small slide out, you're still going to have decent cargo carrying capacity. So it helps save you money by doing the E350 instead of the E450. But because it's a 2022, it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla <laughs> engine. 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Hankooks. Dynapros. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Will, Will, Will. What? I say Hankook. Okay. And then you say Dynapro. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Hankooks. Dynapros. Nice. LT225-75 R16. And we do have these nice shiny rims yeah, right there. They look nice. Coming on down the side here new for 2021 and now 2022 it stores warranty 12 year structural six year lamination warranty that's one of the best warranties in sure the industry. is we do have a nice white power awning with led lights we're a little too close to yeah. the, this other motorhome and this one is sold but will i mean look at this it is all the way to the it tip, is to the it's tip. as far as you can that go that's a huge awning and the white on white on white it just makes it look smooth and you know looks one good. piece yeah exactly right here we do have wow very good storage yeah very nice it is the uh turn doors i'm not mad about that at this price point and that actually was very decent storage coming on down the side here coming around the back we do have a nice bumper good for your stinky slinky right here we do have an eight thousand pound wow. hitch now this motorhome can't tow 8,000 pounds. Make sure you check to see, you can tow 5,000. If you want to tow any more than that, you got to weigh your motorhome first to make sure you're not 
over over um overloading basically. overloading it yep right there we do have a backup camera integrated in the tail light i didn't see any side cameras and there's not and we do have a one-piece tpo roof will let's go up there and take a look all right here we go now up here on the roof you can see this is a nice one piece tpo roof one ac unit 30 amp okay there's your ac unit right there right there it does have your wine guard 360 digital antenna and then you do have cutouts for max air fans and then right there you can see that it is prepped for solar here we go now careful great and if you haven't already make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button what are the RV salesman's gonna come up to Virginia just for a day, take his fat ass up on the roof to show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Great, another plug. The reason why we're up here is because there's a new Thor Arcadia travel trailer that yes. just came in. And if you guys like travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers, make sure you check out our second channel, Matt's RV Reviews Towables. That's where Will is. That's right. A part of the team. Right here, we do have a black tank flush right there. Okay. Wow, very that good storage. Great. Wow. This storage is amazing for a no slide out unit. Right there's where you dump your black and gray tank. Very nice. And it's such a small unit too. Yeah, it really is. Uh, right here, unleaded fuel. I mean, this is a motorhome great for state and national parks. Oh yeah. At 27 feet, seven inches. Here's your 30 amp hookup. Right here's your Cummins own in 4,000 generator. I love this. I love the air filter fence. Yeah. And I love how they continued with oh, the stickers, yeah. man. That's just... Especially at this price point. Right. You know. Right here's your propane tanks. And Will, we will have all the specs of this motorhome. Bing! Propane tank sizes and everything right there for everybody to see. Cool. And then right here's your city water fill and your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Great. Well, Will, the outside of the chateau looks great. But the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check it out. Go to the left first. Left first, all right. All right, so back here is where the bed is. You can see that's on the slide. Um, bathroom back here, fully accessible. When the slide is in, mm -hmm. got the kitchen area here, your dining area there, living, or well, really just a couch here. And you got that bunk overhead and your cockpit area. And Will. Yeah. While the slide out's coming out, I want to give a huge shout out. Do you know to who? No. To you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for filling in for Andrea. Uh, this was a very last minute trip, y'all. And Andre and I, we just had the Tampa RV show, so we didn't have a log of videos that right. we normally had. So thank you to Will. Of course, anytime. Anytime? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So here we go. Will, we're yeah. starting with a cockpit area. Okay. Okay. Up front here, Will, this is the E350 chassis, okay? Okay. The 7.3 liter V8. Very nice. Man, I'm getting this thing started up. We're gonna get the AC on, the max AC flowing. Very nice. You have your uh, power windows and everything. Right here is gonna be your camera for reverse and then Will. You wanna sit in my co-captain seat? I will try. Now, this is what's so great about Will being here today. I've had a lot of people um, over the weekend at the Tampa RV show ask me, they're like, Matt, I'm." I'm I'm torn. I don't know if I want a class A or a class C. Well, here's the things, folks. Yeah. Show, show me like this. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay. If you were a smaller human, and I don't even mean portly, I mean height-wise, class C, this works perfect for me. Will? <laughs> Not Will, as much. And, 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 you know, Will, Will and I were pudgy. We're both, we're both pudgy. Right. Hashtag 61 day weight loss challenge. But right. that's not about that. It's about the height. Will is six yeah. foot three, and there is no way he would ever be comfortable in this. No. Nope. So if you're taller like this, you you might want to consider a class A motorhome just to get that type of leg space that you want. For sure, yeah, especially if you're going to be the driver. Like for me, I wouldn't be able to drive, 
and you know Jen would be okay driving but not for the majority of the trip yep you know what I mean so my brakes to go back there would be very limited right you know right for sure so well, all right climb on out into the motorhome all right let's can see. you no 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 just go out the side oh, door okay <laughs> well you're crazy I mean even for me it's always a little difficult but we're able to do it up front here is the bunk over the cab it holds 800 pounds this is one of the best bunk over the cabs right back there we have cup holders okay we have window right there and then the tv is right here now this tv see it swings but it doesn't pivot okay it's okay you can add something that pivots but right. it does come out right there and you're watching the tv right here on the sofa okay regular sofa now now a lot of people are going to be like oh i hate the tv placement but you guys got to understand this is a motorhome with no slide outs in the right. center the only slide out is that bed slide out so it's pretty nice oh speaking of I gotta get the cargo carrying capacity. Okay. The CCC. That's right. Over here. One thousand four hundred and fifty-one pounds. See, so they did cheap out a little bit because yeah, because it could have been higher with right. the four fifty chassis. Yeah, but then it would have been more. It you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. It's How, a trade -off. What's the price difference? Like five grand, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's expensive. Um, and then right here, we do have, wow, huge storage, nice lights. Andrea, how do you like the uh, valances? They're pretty nice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think they're nice. Did you hear me call you Andrea? Yeah. Okay. And then right here, we have these blinds. Care less about them. And then over here, the dinette, okay? Check this out. Big storage right there okay, and big right storage here. right there. The nice light. Start. Yes, the light cabinetry makes it look really good. Right here we have a dinette. Check this out. It drops down to make a bed. Not only that, has cup holders. Not only that, it has a new wireless charger. That's pretty cool. It sure is. No storage underneath this side, but right here there is storage underneath there. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here is not that bad. $110,356 will. That is MSRP. Sale price. Do you see a sale price there? I do not. No, because this is a 2022 and the prices keep fluctuating, we are not currently advertising sale price. But, Will, I promise you there is a sale price on this. And, this? again, this is, well, this one's sold, but that one is a floor unit. So you can come to the Richmond store, call ahead. You can come to the Richmond store and see it, touch it, test drive it, and feel it, and then order one off of it. And if you want to do that, and if you want to get the best price in America on a Chateau or a Four Winds, Will, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or MattsRVReviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is to go to MattsRVReviews.com. There you will see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this motorhome or any motorhome, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV to fill out your Matt Cash form. Then somebody from my internet team will call you and get you the best price in America, or you can take that Matt Cash form, print it out, and bring it into one of our any 13 locations. If you're not ready to buy this motorhome and you have questions, perfect. That's what tab number two is for. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we're here to answer your questions within 24 to 48 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if it's tab three, two, or one. It doesn't matter if you work with our internet team or if you print out your Matt Cats coupon and bring it into the store. What's the one thing we'll always get you? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, so like we said, it is a smaller uh, motorhome. Mm -hmm. And I do feel like, you know, you do feel it in this kitchen for sure. Yes. It's definitely small. A uh, little bit of storage up top, a little graystone microwave here. Okay. And some storage up here. 
Very nice. So that's like all the uppers, but of course you do have this, you know, right. this is gonna be a- All the way around you. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the type of motorhome where, you know, you might have to use um, some of the other storage for kitchen or clothes or whatever it is. Yep. Um, you got a three burner Furion cooktop right here with Ooh, blue lights blue. and oven. Yes, sir. I did miss two. It does have a nice uh, window here. It should pull up. I think. Oh, it's the type where you just lift push, it? lift, just lift. Oh, okay. I see that now. Yep. Oh. Very nice. Um, and the window there does open as well, letting some nice uh, air, fresh air and everything. Not solid surface countertops, probably a weight thing. Yep. And price point. Price Single, point and weight, 100% yeah. right. Single bowl sink right there with inserts. And then just a little more storage here. Oh, hey now, that's a $104 trash can. That's right. And then a couple drawers right here on this. Yes, sir. Very, there. very nice. And then right behind me, we do have a little coat closet there. A little storage up top. And there was storage up top here as yeah. well. And then a nice two-way Dometic fridge and freezer. Hey, somebody had Bojangles. That's right. <laughs> um, cool, and then show that. So that's gonna be that. part of the bedroom, um, but also part of the, uh, what the heck? That's the ladder. Oh, a little the, ladder. Kind of yeah. looks like the U-step. It sure does. Oh, uh, that's the oh, ladder the for the bunk over the cab. Right there. Not as well built as the U-step. That's right. And then Thank the bathroom. You. Will, do us the honors. It's now time for the tall test. Okay. For those of you who don't know, Will is a staggery. Six foot two tall. Wow. wow. For how small this is, I thought it would fail. Look at sure, that. Sure, but it's good. Does that get the shower test seal of sure approval? Does. Bing. Now, you know, like like we're now doing in the Tobal channel, I'll do the 360. It won't pass that for sure. Right. But, you know, because this is where I would be. Right. Um, But for this size, to have even this much room is amazing. It's pretty impressive. Right over here, we do have a little medicine cabinet right here. A uh, nice little mirror, little sink area, and the storage right there. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Everything's looking good. Okay. Oh, and listen guys, We've been recording towables all day long. Right. Every single one of them have ha had I problems know, with the bathroom. Terrible. Wow. That's you see this? Good. Look at this. Yeah. You know, that really does help. Oh my gosh. And it's porcelain. Will, we are ending the day a lot better than what <laughs> we're starting it. This is a prime pooping position. Awesome. Man, that's great. Now I will say where they put the toilet paper holder is a little dumb. Hey, but I'm fine with that. I am too. Shoot, after listen guys, you guys are gonna see uh, the towable videos in about a month. That's how Will and I record, we batch record. Right. And let me tell you, there's about a one week or a two week span where it's nothing but horrible prime right. positions. We forgot this too. Oh, look at that. Oh there wow. That's pretty good actually. Wow, very good. Very good. And then right over here, we do have the queen bed. Look at this. You got little countertops on both sides. Power and USB. Right over here, well, that's where a TV would go. Okay, you have your back window there, side windows here, and a nice headboard. You do have storage above here. Oh. Bless you. Thank you. Which is <clears throat> very nice storage. And let me tell you, I'm laying on this bed. Not too bad, huh? I cannot tell you where the fold is. And wow. there is a fold in here, um, but it's actually pretty firm and pretty comfortable and it's prepped for the TV. It doesn't have it in it for price. Oh, and there's actually a curtain right there. Yeah, I give you a little bit of privacy. Yes, sir. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the Chateau 26. Oh, Ooh. You okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a step down. Yes. That's the Chateau 26B. Now, before you guys leave, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Chateau and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? I was hoping you wouldn't say that. All right, well, let's oh, do no, like no, 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 we're then. doing dislike, we're doing okay. dislike. Okay, dislike number one. I didn't see it on this and I need to check. Okay. 
Dislike number one, no stabilizing jacks. Mm. This motorhome definitely does not need auto leveling. 100% get that. But a lot of times they can just put the stabilizing jacks in the rear. Yep. Just in the rear. And, and it'll just make, yeah, exactly. You can always get that added on after the fact, but the fact that it's not coming with it. And listen, I, I get you're trying to make this price point, but that feature is one that I really just don't like. That is number one. Will, number two? Um, Give us a dislike. I will say, I don't like where you fell, honestly. Where okay. that step is. Yep. I don't know if they can see it or not on the camera. Yeah, there's a step. It's here's I what I, I would do exactly what you did every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's going to be enough because a lot of times in these class C's there's a step right that's here true, here's yeah. what i will say the fold up bed uh -huh. you know you can't it's it's one of those things where it's kind of funny and you know i'm gonna make this my number three dislike as well the fold up bed and here's what i mean and this living space right i am a-okay with there not being a slide out here but it's kind of funny how you're putting a slide out and you're gonna have a smaller living room area and have the yes. slide out in the bed where the bed has to fold. I rather have seen a corner bed with right. a slide out in the living room area. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, but again, you know, or I would have rather seen like a double slide out, like this on a slide out and that on a slide right. out. But it also would have made it a more expensive motorhome. They would have definitely had to go to the 450 chassis. Yeah, and, you know. for sure, for sure. Great, so that's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Okay. I'm gonna go first. Okay. The cabinetry and the colors. Yes. This is small. It is. But it still feels spacious. Right. Not only that, the way they designed this, like me and Will were able to, you know. Oh yeah, to get by each other. Get by each other, walk around. Yeah. It's very nice, even though it's small and compact, the, the way they did it is it's very, very nice. Yeah. Oh snap, no, I have another dislike. Okay. I have another dislike. And it's gonna kind of add to it. These seats, because of this, they, right. they can't recline back. Right. So it's a tighter driving area. For especially sure. Especially for a big person. Great, so that's four dislikes and one like. Will, what's your like number two? Um, mine's gonna be outside. You wanna do something else first inside? Okay. Um. Yeah, no, or we gotta we give it to two, that bath. No, 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 we got- four likes? No, 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 we can okay. do three or four. We have to give it to this bathroom. Yes. Listen, that this, would have been my second. This type of design does not, we should not have a shower like that. We shouldn't have a porcelain toilet and it shouldn't be a prime poop position. This is a motor home that's made to be cheap and small and compact. Yeah. And for them to accomplish all that, and trust me guys, we went in these big 42 foot fifth wheels today and these long 37 foot travel trailers and they just kept messing up the prime they did, position yep. um and for them to do this in a 27 foot motor home they're paying that gives attention you, yeah it's just it's just doors kicking butt and taking names that's right so that's number two and then well number three all right so like matt said earlier this 100 percent is a great um boondocking or state national parks trailer friendly or, yeah or motor home so um I love that they have the nice big awning because when you're out in national parks or you know out west on BLM land and everything, you want to sit outside, you want to enjoy the day and the scenery and everything, and it's nice having that big awning to do that under. I'm gonna give you a number four. Okay. The outside storage was oh, awesome. Yeah, it really is. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about the store chateau, please call, text, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. Again, clicking tab number one takes you to General RV where you get your Matt cash. You can either work with somebody on my internet team nationwide or you can print out your mat cash coupon and bring it into the store with you to get the actual the ultimate best price if you guys are in the market for a nice medium sized class c motor home in a few seconds we're going to put the competitors right here and here will is there anything you'd like to say of course all right guys thanks so much for watching um thanks for bearing with me through this video andrea will be back in two days right yep
Cool. So Andrea will be back in two days. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Say hi to Andrea. Yep. But also let us know the three things you like, three things you dislike. And make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, make sure you guys click right here. Oops. Right here yep. to uh to follow Will and Jen's personal vlog about yes, travel and adventure. Thanks absolutely everybody so much for watching. Thanks Will for recording. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time.